Hello everyone. So uh, this is a video about uh, how to repot your Venus flytraps. Uh, so the first thing I was doing was taking off a few of the dead bits. Obviously you want to get rid of those because they can cause infection. So uh, just a word to the wise of course this YouTube video is quite long, seven or eight minutes. I know most people don't have that sort of attention span. But frankly, I could not be asked to edit it too much, so there we go. Yeah, when you tip the uh, the fly traps out of the pots, give it a little shake. Not too rough, though. Uh, don't worry about accidentally closing any of the traps. It's damn near impossible to repot this plant without closing any of the traps. And then I start to gently divide them. Gently being the key word. Don't, don't force them apart, just sort of more guide them apart, really. Obviously trying to remember to remove any dead bits. It's a good money saver, actually, this is, because um, I used to be spending a small fortune on my plants, given uh, that I collect them. But actually, the plants such as one you see me dividing at the moment has probably been in that pot for a year, maybe two years, and yet just with a bit of dividing, I'm turning one plant into four or five pots, which uh, which saves a lot of money in the long run. And now I'm beginning to wish that I had actually edited this video. <laughs> Yep, editing would have been really handy right about now. Obviously getting rid of the dead parts not only is healthier for the plant, but also it makes them look a lot better, doesn't it? I have the joy and pleasure of doing this to 600 plants pretty much every year, so uh, fun, fun, fun. So then, yes, hold the plants above the pot you're going to put them in. And then what I do is gently sprinkle some compost, some specially made compost around them. And as you'll see in a minute, what I do is I put them in and I'll shake the plant pot. And as I shake it, what happens is the compost itself moves around the roots, gets into all the nooks and crannies and whatnot. And I think it's a much better system than what some people do, is in, which uh, involves forcing the roots into the actual compost itself. I think this way is a much more natural way. It's my way anyway, and it seems to work. Normally when I'm doing this, what I actually do is I have a bucket full of uh, the compost that I'm using and I simply place the empty pot and the Venus flytrap above the pot and then just scoop some of the compost out from that bucket so any compost that falls back down into it is simply compost that I'm going to be using again at a later date anyway. But unfortunately, due to certain filming constrictions and uh, like the angle of the sunlight and whatnot, it would have been a bit awkward for you all to see that. So, uh, that tray is really there just to uh, stop the mess from getting everywhere. But already you can see some of the compost on some of the bags that are there. So, if anyone listens to this, this buys a, uh, a plant from me in the future and you get a little bit of compost in it, I do apologise. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to make this video to show people how I do it. Again, lots of shaking. Yeah, 
I mean, like I say, this has saved me quite a bit of money. I mean, bear in mind these fly traps cost anywhere between about three and five pounds for your standard Venus fly trap. So I've turned one into four. So I've uh, saved saved the pennies, saved the pound, which is always good. The only trouble is dividing at this rate. You were. Uh, <laughs> You run out of room quite quickly, as I'm finding out. I'm trying to remember what I do next, actually. What happens next? Oh, magic. Right then, so... The next thing to do, I uh, pour some water in to the tray about a centimeter's worth must be rain water uh, it's not a complete necessity it depends where you live some part places have a the water from a tap has too many too many chemicals in them which can affect the fly traps as well as other carnivorous plants this is particularly rainwater especially rainwater so it's all good and then in a the moment you'll see me spray the plants because that means the soil on top is also wet as well I know some people don't advise spraying the plants when the sun is shining in case it like burns them or damages them. This is done in February when the temperature is like barely 5 degrees Celsius, so I don't think it should matter too much. But, uh... Oh, OCD kicking in. Must make sure it uh, looks all nice and neat. Very good. But, yep, hopefully you have a decent idea as to how to divide and repot Venus flytraps. Thank you very much for watching.